Today we're going to look at Excel's match function. It's good at finding items in a list and telling you what position they're in. So you can use that either alone in a separate formula or you can use it with other functions. And in this example, we're going to use it to make a VLOOKUP more efficient. Right now we have a little table that shows us regions and months and the sales per month for each region. Over here we have a VLOOKUP formula and it will tell us for the central region right now what the February sales were. In the VLOOKUP formula we have a 3 typed in and that's telling us to go to column 1, 2, 3 which is the February column and that returns the number for the central region. We can change the region and if we select East we'll see its February sales. So that part works great. However, we've got other months and if we want to see January it still shows us the February sales because in our formula we have a 3 which locks in column 3. We would like to make the formula a little bit better so that when we change the month it automatically knows which column to use. And to do that we'll use a match function within the VLOOKUP. And to see how it works we'll start by creating a match function outside. So in a separate cell we'll type equal match open and the, v the lookup value is the month name. So we'll click on that cell type a comma. The lookup array next is the cells we want it to look through. So that's all the heading cells including that blank cell at the start. So those four cells are where it should look to find the column number. Another comma and we want an exact match so we'll type a zero, close bracket and enter. So we can see that January is in the second position in that group of heading cells. Now we want to get that into our formula so select everything except the equal sign. And on your keyboard press Control and C to copy that and press Enter to get out of that cell. Then go to the VLOOKUP formula and highlight the 3 on the keyboard press Control V to paste and press enter to finish the formula and now you can see that it's returning the January amount. If we select March we can see a 4 down here in our match formula and we can see that it's returned the value from column 4 in our VLOOKUP. And we can delete that formula now that we don't need it and we can choose any month and we'll get the right value.